Hey folks, Aaron, Otter Creek Farm and bushhoggingservices.com out here on another job this weekend, opening up some trails. And you can see behind me what we have done. Uh, when we got started, it was basically fingertip to fingertip along this trail. And the owner wanted it to open up and it's a lot of this Florida scrub that you see behind me and uh, getting it done. So it's been about, oh, about four hours so far, getting through it pretty quick. Uh, we got the Bama light today. It's the only thing heavy enough to get through some of this and then here's what uh, the bomb light can do to some of these trees you can see it's basically shaved that in half it's not a mulcher but it'll certainly cut that down and uh, allow you to pick it up and move it and I'm not sure why he ran over that one but he did uh, so I'm gonna spin you around and we're gonna go back and take a look at the tractor in action with the heavy-duty bomb light on there here we go this job ended up being more work than anticipated. It had to put a lot of branches on the ground, like over here, back there, came along with the chainsaw. Each of us took a turn and basically whooped us, soaked to the bone uh, from sweat out here in the Florida humidity. It's kind of overcast today. It rained a little bit ago, so it hasn't been too bad, but with that humidity, it's just hot. So about an hour on that chainsaw is about anybody, as much as anybody can take. Here you can see a peak of the bomb of light up there. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. All right, mosquitoes and horse flies are out today. Welcome to Florida. The uh, rainy season just kicked off. Gotta watch out, he's probably backing up. This is the last bit, we're done here. We got lucky, the uh, owner added some work to it. We made a couple extra hundred bucks from clearing around the pond. You gotta be careful not to get near that thing. That thing will throw a rock in hundred yards. It's kind of like working with a sledgehammer compared to a regular brush cutter. We had a tailwheel put on it, and it was a fail. Somewhere along the way, it looked like a pin got pulled out. The tailwheel fell out, and he ran over it, dented it, kind of jacked it up, so we'll have to try to repair it later. We may have to get a new wheel. Just disappointing, I haven't even really used it yet. Back right into those palmettos. It won't mulch a palmetto, but it'll it'll cut a palmetto stalk, and uh, unless, if, if it's the real fibrous piece, it won't, it won't uh, mulch it, but otherwise it will do a real number on the palmettos. All this scrub oak that you see around here, like this stuff, the only time it gets difficult is when the branches hang over the field and then they get in the way of the tractor cab, which is why we got to go out with a chainsaw ahead of the uh, cutter and uh, cut those particular branches down so we can move efficiently in the tractor. Keep this video short. If you need bush hawking services in Cedar Key, G. Flynn, Bronson, Williston, uh, Crystal River areas, give us a call at bushhawkingservices.com. If you like the video, like, like it, and uh, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate you, and hope you enjoy the videos. Get out of here before we get run over. Get a piece of wood stuck in our skull.